Good morning, everyone. Hare Krishna. Speaking from Srimad Bhagavatam today. This is going to be Canto 1, Chapter 17, Punishment and Reward of Kali. And moving on. And the chapter... Yesterday's verse was was text forty one. Today's verse is text forty two. We'll chant Jairada Manava. Does anybody want to play drum? That's perfect. That's perfect. Thank you. Jairada. Madhava Kunjabi Hari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunjabi Hari Gopi Jana Vallabha Girivara Dari Gopi Jana Vallabha Girivara Dari Yasoda Nandana Praja Jana Ranjana Yasoda Nandana Praja Jana Ranjana Yamuna Tira Banachari Yamuna Tira Vanachari Jaya Raja Madhava Kunjavi Hari Jaya Raja Madhava Kunjabi Hari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunjabi Hari Jaya Radha Madhava Or Premanandi. Matra Shimad Bhagavatam Ki Jai. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam Namaskritya Naram Chaiva Narottamam Devyam Saraswati Vyasam Atojayam Adirayat Nasta Preshu Dhapadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Shlokar Bhakti Bhagavati Nashtaki If you have it on your phone, again, it's Chikanta 1, Chapter 17, Text 42. 
Uh, the board was not updated because we're all in Allen at the Sadhu Sangha. So I'll, I'll go ahead and read the verse, and if anyone wants to chant, they're welcome to. Vishashanashtan Trinpadan Tapaso Cham Dayamiti Prati Sandada Ashvasya Mahim Cha Samavardayat Vishashya Nashtan Trinpadan Tapaso Cham Dayamiti Prati Sandada Shvasya Mahim Cha Samavardayat One more time. Vishashanashtan Trimbadan Tapaso Cham Dayamiti Prati Sandada Asvasya Mayam Cha Samavardayat Anyone want to chant? You have it on your phone? Okay. So word for word. Vrishasya of the bull, the personality of religion. Nashtan, lost. Trim, three. Padan, legs. Tapa, austerity. Socham, cleanliness. Dayam, mercy. Iti, thus. Pratisandade, reestablished. Asvasya, by encouraging activities, Mahim, the earth, Cha, and Samvardayat, perfectly improved. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, Srila Prabhupada. Thereafter, the king reestablished the lost legs of the personality of religion, the bull, and by encouraging activities, he sufficiently improved the condition of the earth. Please repeat. Thereafter, the king reestablished the lost legs of the personality of religion, the bull, and by encouraging activities, he sufficiently improved the condition of the earth. By designating particular places for the personality of Kali, Maharaj Pariksit practically cheated Kali. In the presence of Kali Dharma in the shape of a bull and the earth in the shape of a cow, he could actually estimate the general condition of his kingdom. And therefore he at once took proper steps to reestablish the legs of the bull namely, austerity, cleanliness, and mercy. And for the general benefit of the people of the world, he saw that the gold stock might be employed for stabilization. Gold is certainly a generator of falsity, intoxication, prostitution, enmity, and violence. But under the guidance of a proper king or public leader, or brahmana or sannyasi, the same gold can be properly utilized to reestablish the lost legs of the bull, the personality of religion. Maharaj Purkit, therefore, like his grandfather Arjuna, collected all the illicit gold kept for the propensities of Kali and employed it in the Sankirtan Yagna as per instruction of the Srimad Bhagavatam. As we have suggested before, One's accumulated wealth may be divided into three parts for distribution, namely 50% for the service of the Lord, 25% for the family members, and 25% for personal necessities. Spending 50% for the service of the Lord or for propagation of spiritual knowledge and society by way of the Sankirtan Yagna is the maximum display of human mercy. People of the world are generally in darkness regarding spiritual knowledge, especially in regard to the devotional service of the Lord, and therefore to propagate the systematic transcendental knowledge 
of devotional service is the greatest mercy that one can show in this world. When everyone is taught to sacrifice 50% of his accumulated gold for the Lord's service, certainly austerity, cleanliness, and mercy automatically ensue. And thus, the lost three legs of the personality of religion are automatically established. When there is sufficient austerity, cleanliness, mercy, and truthfulness, naturally Mother Earth is completely satisfied and there is very little chance for Kali to infiltrate the structure of human society. Om Gyan Timuran Dasya Gyanan Gyanan Shalakaya Chakshura Militam Dena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha I was born in the darkness of ignorance. My spiritual master opened my eyes with the torchlight of knowledge. I offer my humble obeisances to the dust of his lotus feet. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasaya Bhutale Srimati Tamal Krishna Goswami Iti Namine Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasaya Bhutale Srimati Ritafa Jaswami Iti Namine Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Namine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gorvani Pracharine Nirvase Sunyavadi Paskate Deshtarine so this is a continuation of, of um, His Holiness Chandramali Maharaj um, so nicely um, delineated aspects of Varnashram Dharma and in fact has complete realization of that and has published a nice book which we hope um, we can help distribute. Um, it's a natural uh, it's a book on natural living, living naturally for the in the service of of Guru and Krishna. And when you have that, um, excuse me, a little housekeeping here. I need to. This. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So when when there is sufficient. Austerity, cleanliness, mercy, and truthfulness. Naturally, Mother Earth is completely satisfied. So when Mother Earth is completely satisfied, we're her children, is it not? We're, we're, um, we're, she's one of our mothers. Jishnu, can you name all the mothers? Are you able? Uh, no, the Earth is number one. Number two, of course, well, number one, of course, is your birth mother. And then, um, then the net, the nursemaid. Then um, after that is the guru's wife. And then after that is all women in general, right? Then hold on. The cow. The cow thank you. So that's five. Mm -hmm. Who? Boomy the earth. And then there's one more, and I'm missing. I keep calling my brain a Swiss cheese brain. But it was maybe I need to start calling it a super sharp together brain. <laughs> so it won't be all like the Vedas. That's it. Number seven, Vedas. So at the time of initiation, what do you get? Because everybody's saying, well, we give so much, and then we finally get initiated, and... And then what? Well, it's the beginning. And then, so, because what you've got is your spiritual master's mercy, who's your father. And then you have the Vedas, who are, who's your mother. So if somebody asks you, who's your mother? <laughs> who's your father? I just wanted to mention, um, there's something that Prabhupada said, do you know, like it's like Krishna is our father. Jishnu is mentioning, Prabhupada said, go ahead. Krishna is our father. Okay, but to know our father, we have to reach out through our, to our mother, to the Shastras. Jai. Yeah, anybody want to jump in and make comments, please? Feel free. 
this is one of these uh, classes that I'm just depending on the purport. <laughs> Normally we try to prepare and I'm, you know, ecstatic having our beautiful guests, but boy, I'll tell you, the service sure does double. <laughs> and then you just start using excuses like, oh, I've got so much service. And, you know, you think you can slide on your rounds and you think you can slide on your, you know, your strictness. And no, you have to chant even more intense rounds. You have to chant, in fact, you have to chant extra. <laughs> so, um, because you need the help, you need the mercy. And, um, so, but designating particular places for the personality Kali, Maharaj Parikit practically cheated Kali. I remember when I first saw that verse that he designated places for the personality Kali. I was like, oh no. <laughs> At least got to deal with that guy still. <laughs> and then here, and then this verse comes, and this verse is so nice. Um, in the presence of Kali, Dharma, in the shape of a bull, and the earth in the shape of a cow, he could actually estimate the general condition of his kingdom. And therefore, he at once took proper steps to reestablish the legs of the bull, namely austerity, cleanliness, and mercy. What, so truthfulness is connected to which... So if we are untruthful, which vice is that? connected to? Well, you've got meat-eating, illicit sex, gambling, intoxication. So which one is gambling? Thank you. Guru Dhaja correctly answered that. All right. So which one is connected to austerity? Okay, so you have the four regulated principles, which is no illicit sex, no gambling, intoxication, no intoxication, no meat eating, right? Those are the four principles of freedom. I want to welcome our guests here. Who are these nice guests? Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, feel free to ask questions anytime if you have any questions. Um, so, Austerity is um, connected to um, intoxication. So if, if you are intoxicated, you will not be austere. And if I'm wrong, please somebody dial in and correct me. I've got my phone right here. Lack of cleanliness is, a is connected to? Yes, that one's easy. So illicit sex, gambling, is, is, as Gurdu Dhaja helped. That's the truthfulness. Austerity is from intoxication. Meat eating. So which one is that one connected to? Which one? Cleanliness is illicit sex. So if you're not clean, you'll have, you'll have, you think that it's okay to just run around and cheat with your body, which is a total waste of time and very, very destructive. Do you know, Francisco? You know which one that one is? No, no meat, fish, eggs, but we have four. So the, the bull has four legs, which are truthfulness, austerity, cleanliness, and, hold on, mercy. So which one is meat eating? Mercy. Right? Because if you're guests, my name's Kunti, this is Francisco, that's Madhava, this is Guru Dwaja, and that's Jishnu. What are your good names? Uh, my name is Ishwar. Ishwar? 
and what? Streetheart? Susita? Nice. So we're asking a question here. What was the question? You remember the question? Okay, so we have, if you're killing, if you're killing your mother and your father, are you merciful? Is that showing mercy? No, I don't think so either. But that, that's insanity. That's insanity. Some GIs, when they came home from Vietnam, they would lock and load and, and kill their entire family when they came home. Because they had seen so much horror that they were still suffering from, from the PTSD, from the war. And they would imagine that their whole family was the Viet Cong and they would wipe them out. And often turn the gun on themselves as well. So that was a terrible thing and it happened many times. Thousands of times. So it's really terrible that we have this terrible ignorance infiltrating our society that it's mercy to kill the animals. It's not mercy to kill the animals. It's the opposite. And if you love people, you'll tell them that. If you love the world, you'll tell them that. Good morning, Nishari Kumari. <laughs> you, want to, you want to stay for a minute? Okay, stay for a minute. So, so that, that's why it's important, you know, to, um, to tell the truth. If you see someone doing something really destructive and really bad, you tell them. You, some people say, oh, that's not politically correct. We have to be politically correct, right? That is the worst oxymoron in our society that we have. Oh, just let it be. Let everyone do what they want to do. Live and let live. It's okay. No, it's not okay. When you see people getting offed in an Allen shopping mall, they're getting killed for shopping for clothes? <laughs> Obviously, they wanted to keep their body, right, Monta? They want, right? Just news, Mom? They didn't want to lose their body. Did they want to lose their body that day? No. They didn't want to lose their body. They, went, they got up, got dressed, probably had some breakfast, and they called their friends and said, hey, meet us at the outlet mall in Allen, and we're going to shop, and then we'll go have lunch, and we'll try on our clothes, and we'll have fun, whatever. They didn't think that when they brushed their teeth, that would be the last time they would brush their teeth. They died. <laughs> they went there and got killed. Now, people ask a question. Why is this happening? You don't, you don't just let it keep going and going and going and going without asking why. Ask yourself the question and then get the answer. And when you get the answer, you give the answer. Is that right, Ishari Kumari? It's happening because thousands of animals, innocent animals, are being killed as we speak as we speak right now. And we wonder why this horrific, horrible thing is happening. This terror is happening. And no one asks why. You, you better ask. 
You have to ask. There was a bull in China he was going to slaughter. And he cried and cried and cried. And he became an international celebrity because he was crying and saying no. He was actually calling out no. Don't kill me. He was just saying no in his, in his cow voice. No, like that. He didn't want to go and get killed. They saved him and he got adopted by an Ahimsa family and they're not going to kill him because he, when they were leading him up to the slaughter, he cried out. So they can't do that, these animals. That one was an exception. That was an exception. These, these animals can't call out, right, Chishnu? They just, you know, and, and then they smell the blood of the previous victim, right? I'm sorry, this is not a PETA class. I won't go into PETA, okay? I'll stop after this, but they smell the blood of the previous victim, what happens? Anybody medically trained here? Endorphins, fight or flight, run. This is terror. Their whole body floods with that hormone. You can't cook it out. You can't boil it out. You can't clean it out. So literally, people are eating fear of death every time they eat meat. They think the chickens are stupid. No, the chickens can smell it. They're scared. They're totally scared. All the animals, the, the pigs can smell it. And, and so the whole society is just going to hell in a handbasket because we are too shy or too wanting to be politically correct by not correcting others. I'm not saying you go up to people that you don't know. I'm talking about your friends, your family, the people you love, the people you know, the people you cut jokes with, you know, the people that know you and trust you. That's who I'm talking about. And then when you get to know someone and you see that they're suffering, Give them the knowledge. Give them a, one of Srila Prabhupada's books. Just say, look, I think you could probably get something from this, you know? I, I, I think Sankirtan is one of the greatest things in the world. But it really helps if you know the person and you get to know the person and you're not just approaching them for money, right? Anyway, Maharaj Purkit, therefore, like his grandfather Arjuna, collected all the illicit gold kept for the propensities of Kali and employed it in the Sankirtan Yagna. Right? So we have a lot of Sankirtan Yagna going on this weekend. And uh, we pray to, to follow in the footsteps of Maharaj Purkit and reestablish the lost legs of religion, austerity, mercy, cleanliness, and truthfulness. I think I'll stop here. I, I don't know, should I stop? D does anyone have any questions or comments or? Do you have anything you want to talk about? I warned um, Mother Anuradha this would be a short class <laughs> because we we all have a lot of service today. So you don't have any questions, comments, nothing? No? Totally agree with me? Oh, you sorry, Kamari. Go ahead. Thank you so much for tolerating my emotional outburst. But let me tell you something. I cry. And I pray every time I hear one of these mass killings, and even any killing, one person, any person. Go ahead.
<laughs> Ishwari Kumari is saying she's glad I stopped her. I'm, I'm so, uh, so grateful for you, uh, for trusting me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you okay she's she's saying that I have a lot of love not just for animals but for people I it's all because Guru Dave just you know he's filled me overflowing so it's all coming from Guru Dave and Prabhupada Kali, her, yesterday her spiritual master was mentioning that the, this is Kali Yuga, the age of darkness. And everything bad will happen, but, but like a Kadamba tree, we have to continually go toward the light. Yeah, because that's the goal of our life. Yes, because that is the goal of our life. So repeat that last sentence again. The quality of a Vaishnava is to have compassion and love for each and every person. So he can't see any kind of slaughtering or harm. So we can do as much as possible. according to our capacity and our capability. This and we can pray to, pray to Srila Prabhupada that all this slaughtering can ha stop, can please stop, right? To, yes, the slaughtering sh should be stopped. Everyone should what? Be benevolent. Yes. And give them Krishna consciousness. Thank you. And this is why preaching is most important. Thank you, Ishwari Kumari, for quoting His Holiness Radhanath Maharaj. Thank you so much. Radhanath Maharaj Ki Jai. Anything else? Yeah. Chishnu, got a comment? Would you like to speak more on how if one has you know, committed these four offenses, um, how can they recover or become, work on becoming more pure day by day? Um, would you... Would you Get them. Guys, do you want some prasadam before you go? A little bit of prasadam? Yeah, yeah, let me uh, see. Thank you, yeah, you just ask anybody there. Please don't leave before you get prasadam, okay? Okay, so Jishnu Prabhu just asked a very amazing question. Uh, thank you, Dr. Francisco. Hi, Krishna. Okay. Um, the question is, is what to do if you have committed all four um, sinful acts of, of illicit sex, gambling, intoxication, meeting? It depends. It depends on, on the circumstance. Is, is the person, there's two types of people. One is pretending to be asleep, and the other one is actually asleep. Who's easier to wake up? The one who's actually asleep. Just, uh, uh, Guru Dhraja's mother correctly answered. It's the one who's actually sleeping. So if, if a person has already been awoken or awakened in Krishna consciousness and then they commit those sins again, 
that's a very tough situation. Um, they need the help of the spiritual master and they need to um, get the, the association of the spiritual master as much as possible. They, they you know, just, uh, you know, because it's kind of like being in a hospital. You need the doctor. And the surgeon sometimes has to keep a very watchful eye on the patient. If the person is just new, but then they fall back, because I'll, I'll use myself as an example. About 45 years ago, I was lusting for a Big Mac because a, a beautiful God sister, my, and my Mother Chandravali and myself, we were on Sankirtan, and we got on this kick of whipped cream and fruit. And that's all we had every day, and orange juice. And then we'd eat a little burfee to give us extra energy, you know, because we were working the truck stops. We were doing uh, tr truck stop synchroton with the albums. And, and <laughs> man, so we were on this really austere type of diet, and we told Mother Krota Shamini, Srila Prabhupada's disciple Krota Shamini, I, Chandravali, she, she already had her own. She figured it out ahead of me that what we were doing was wrong because we did this for weeks. I mean, it, or days. And it was like 10 or 14 days, something like that. Anyway, so I told Carter Shami, man, I'm just having a craving here. What's going on? What are you eating? That's what she said right away. Wait a minute. What are you eating? And I told her, and she started laughing. <laughs> she said, Bhakti Linda, you can't do that. You have to have rice, dal, and chapatis. Of course you're craving meat. <laughs> you're going to crave meat like anything. So, yeah, so I, I'm just using my own example. So I, I obeyed after that. I never even looked back. You know, that was uh, 1979, I was in training. I joined in Houston in 78 and then got into training here in Dallas in 79 and uh, never looked back. It was easy. So it, it kind of depends on the person, what their circumstances. Usually if they, it, it's, it, okay, so you're like in a laboratory. This body is like a big laboratory. And it's an amazing laboratory. Well, it's a big laboratory if you're a microbe. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so it's like a big laboratory. And so if you eat too much, eat too little, sleep too much or sleep too little, what happens? Christian te tells us, Bhagavad Gita, that's chapter four. I don't know if the Bhagavad Gita is here. Yep. Yes. Shimad Bhagavad Gita Kijai. This is my favorite verse too, right? It's like Krishna even gives us a tip. You know, because if you don't if you don't sleep, you can't surrender. Because you don't even know what's up and what's down. You're so tired. And then if you eat too much, you're naturally going to sleep. If you eat too little, you're, you're also jeopardizing. All right, here we go. Sleeping. Sleep. Oh, wow, this is Krishna. Did you know that the topic Krishna takes up 15 pages and the index? <laughs> That's pretty awesome, huh? All right, let's see. Here we go. Let's see. Do I know my alphabet? Yeah, here we go. Let's see. Sense it is. Oh, shark. Aquatics. He is a shark. I don't know the actual verse. Here it is. Okay, conquering, detachment, 
Krishna consciousness. Yada 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 da 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 da. Spiritual life six sixteen. Oh, it's actually in Dhyana Yoga. Yeah, six sixteen seventeen. Okay, here we go. He who's, yep, here it is, 616. There's no possibility of one's becoming a yogi or a jinna. If one eats too much or eats too little, sleeps too much or does not sleep enough. And right in the next verse, he who's regulated in his habits of eating, sleeping, recreation, and work can mitigate all pains by practicing the yoga system. And the yogi, by practice of yoga, disciplines his mental activities and becomes situated in transcendence, devoid of all material desires, he is said to be well established in yoga. Right there. There's your game there's your game plan. What? Yada Vinayatam Chaitam Atmani Eva Shishit Eva Vatishtate. Is that the one? You were thinking of? Oh, no, no, no. The one before is Yuktahara Viharis. Yeah. He was regulating his habit. There you go. Now, you knew this answer. Why are you? Oh, you already knew this. 616, 17, and 18. Kijar. Bhagavad Gita. Anything else? All right. Thank you so much for attending. Gantraj Shimad Bhagavatam Ki Jai, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai, Srila Gurudev Ki Jai, Nitai Gaur Primanandi Hari Hari Bo. Thank you, thank you.